Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Build and Treat Legal Racing Redline. It's your boy Zerga here. What happened with the car? I don't even know. But today we'll be doing some mad building. Some mad building of some wild cars. I don't know. I don't even know what car it will be. But before we get right into the thick of things, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, the links in the descriptions below, Discord server, everything is down below, and we're going to be doing the shout out from last episode. So I'm going to be shouting out Bro Foster Foster, because, you know, he's been giving me requests for a while now for the LEDs build, but <laughs> I just kind of don't get to, to them, you know, I've, I've got something else on my mind to build today, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to be building something different, and what, what am I even talking about? It's too early in the morning, but yeah, shout out to you, my dude. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, throw me a DM, I'm going to shout you out through there too. But let's go into what we're going to do today. Oh, also, if you want to if you want to request a build, just put it in the comments, and I may or may not get to it. It's really depending on my mood when I'm building the car, but let's get into the vehicle catalogue. Oh shit, a Mark II, Grand AG, a JZX100, that might be interesting though, that might be interesting, oh, is the, is the, yeah, it's the good looking one, shit, I'm gonna keep that in, I'm gonna keep that as, as a option, SC300, fuck dude, that's like my favourite car, I'm doing an SC300, fuck it dude, I, thought, I really like SC300s, I really like the Sorer, not with these rims though, what the fuck is this, is this real life, oh my god, this is like, oh this is absolutely disgustingly fucked dude, um, what, what engine are we boosting down here? What the fuck? Uh, a stock 2J. That is uh, actually pretty accurate. That is actually pretty pretty accurate. Obviously, these come with a one uh, with the one Js and two Js in them. So you know that's good. Man, these rims look like they're fucking not not good. <laughs> so for the suspension, one of the most integral parts of the car. I have gone with a very basic setup. So you know, there's really not that much to uh, you know to choose that, that, that might be special uh, as, as when it comes to suspension parts in this game it's all basically absolutely the same uh, obviously there is a slight difference but you know generally speaking so we've got the Mr. Sir everywhere of course staple of the community we've got greedy type R's all around we've got the greedy type R springs and we've got big we got big gold Brembo's on the on the front 330 disc uh, 330 uh, millimeters and 278 on the back yeah with six pistons on the front and four on the back I've got these placeholder rims just for now because the car cannot go on looking like oh, oh this is not oh right oh this is not good at all this should not have happened oh Oh, that's a rip, dude. That is fucking rip, dude. That is rip. Oh my god. Alright, let's see what happened with the game. The car. Thanks, game. Thanks. Uh, ten, uh, 10 out of 10. Plus one. Oh my god, this game, man. This game, man. It's throwing shade at me. Okay. What the fuck is up with the... F what is up with the offset in this game? Like, every wheel does this. It's so ridiculous. What do you mean, FR balance? Is this game... Oh my god. I'm just gonna push it like to the max it seems. I've got BBS LMs, so they're, so they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool tire, rim. I don't, I, don't, I don't think they fit the car too. Brake balance, this fucking game. Like I'm not even near the fucking chassis, dude. I'm not even near the chassis and it's doing that shit. Alright, so the car looks like a goddamn car now. Brake balance, I wanna die. I just wanna die, it seems. So the car definitely has a meaner stance not that we could could have seen what the stance was before because it was so fucked so we got a lot of fucking things here i don't like that next part what do we have for the next part we got engine we got the engine part okay so i would like to build upon this engine there is no need to buy a different engine this looks plastic as fuck uh so let's remove the the 2JZ intake and the exhaust manifold, which is actually pretty cool looking, I'm not gonna lie, that's a pretty cool looking exhaust manifold. And we're going to turbo this NA2J. We're going to make it a big fast boy. There, I'm, I can't find, I can't find, I can't find the turbo, that's not, that's not good, that's not good, I cannot find the turbo charge in the charging system. Epic, epic. Hmm, suspicious, suspicious. Okay, we got some exhaust headers here. Maybe, maybe we can get a nice. Okay, it's not here either. That's not. Oh God, that's very suspicious. That's very suspicious. Where the fuck are the? Where are the? 
parts for this car like so weirdly enough I did not find any of the desired parts for this car by desired parts I didn't find any fucking parts for this car that's not good it's not good at all but I've got something more interesting it's not working okay that's not good all right so quite a bit of disappointment at, at the beginning of this video there were I could not find a single part for the 2JZ GT I've got no idea what the fuck was what happened there uh, there is no <coughs> SLR or editor in this mod pack, and I've got no time to be fucking about with that. So, we've got a... Oh, there we go. we got twin turbines with, with a stock header and no intercoolers. Ah, this doesn't feel like a complete engine mod. I'm just, I'm, what the fuck? I mean, this just doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> That's not how car wo cars work. So I've, I've bought a bunch of other uh, engines. So first, I want to try this 1JZ GTE. Oh, we got a. Oh, damn, nice. So these cars did come with 1JZ uh, in them too. So this this might be accurate. Also, this is very high quality. It's got so many polygons and shit that's making the game very laggy. Where is the turbo? It's very hidden down there. So we got a, a very nice, uh, probably this will be the engine I might uh, go with. But we've also got SR engine's transmission. Oh, I accidentally moved the uh, transmission. All right, then. We also have two U's. Okay, that's not working. We got a bunch of 2Js. This is a, a June Stroker kit, an NA1. How many, How much power are we supposed to make in 269 horsepower? That's not That's not good, boys. From an NA, I mean, from an NA, sure, but like, we're not We're not doing that. Okay, so this is this one. Okay, that's pretty good, I guess. That's the, the old school, but just like reskin. Yeah, these are just normal 2Js, but I'm going to go with a 1. Jay Z, I really like this. I really like how this looks, man. The one Jay Z, it looks, it looks cool as fuck. How much power are we making on this one Jay Z? 773 horsepower. What? What? I saw how. What? Red line. What the fuck? Okay, so this is slightly interesting. This is very, very interesting. What is, what is happening here? What is happening here? Let's see. Okay, so yeah. 12,000 RPM, 8,000, losing power. Yeah, we're going to be losing power any fuck away. This is a very high uh, RPM car. And let's see how is the turbo boost. Can we? Yeah, I want to lower that because that's it's it's a bit, it's a bit high of a number. That fucking didn't do anything. Okay, so we've got a better curve now. 848 newton meters of torque. That is, that is a big boy number. That is a big boy number. Very nice. Very very nice. I like this. I like this a lot. So we have to go to the to the next part, and that is making this car look. Mint, dude. We get we need to make this car look minty fresh, and that's going to be hard because I've got no idea what the fuck this car has as modifications. Hopefully, it has something because I've I have not had good good luck. So there doesn't seem to be too many modifications, which is indicative of this mod. Like this is this is what I've experienced with this mod. Uh, it seems that a lot of the cars just don't have that much that many modifications. But like, oh my god, we well, don't need that mo that many modifications because some of these. Cause look at these boys. Mm, I like these. I like this. Obviously, it needs to fit with the intercooler and everything like that. Oh fucking rip, dude! Oh my god, that's that's nasty. But it, I, I can I, I can see why it could be cool though. Yeah, 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 I'm going with this one. Yeah, this is the one I'm be going with. Oh, that's such a fucking smiley long front end, dude. It's fucking memey. It's a wrong fender. Okay, I'm going to turn off the engine because that. Uh, that engine model is really fucking with my with my game. It's really fucking with my frames, man. Next part, we would... Oh my god, I already fucked the front bumper. That's not nice. So, like I said, there aren't too many modifications for this car. Also, the fitment got fucked, uh, which is another problem with this game. So, you know, I've got these side skirts. They really fit with the front end. But I also like this one. But, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Also, I really need to take a shit. Oh my god. Alright, that was a nice bathroom break. I'm going to go with this build of the car. Now nah, it leads a little bit of a lip is doesn't it it looks kind of ridiculous without that lip um, the car definitely looks nice i'm going to check out if there are any other parts to be installed so that's pretty much it for the exterior let's see what we can do about the interior oh i can even remove the rear seat but i would like to have rear seats in the car we've got this nice nardy looking wheel we've got these recaros super low recaros very nice very nice so the car gets a, a bit of a cooler interior and i mean essentially it's pretty much done on the outside there are a few things we need to finish i'm not going to fuck about with number plates the license plates i cannot deal with that today i'm gonna go fucking crazy it's how annoying they are we need rear exhausts and we need 
mm, different wheels. I'm not feeling these wheels. Also, we need to fix the fitment, uh, but this game is pretty trash with fitment because it, everything resets at one point. Oh my god. Alright, so I've got the exhausts on. These these are pretty good looking exhausts. Twin pipes, you know, it's an S, uh, SC300. I, I, I was thinking about doing a single pipe, but I was like, nah, this is more like a VIP, a VIP style. A VIP, man, I, I can't. That's disgustingly. That sounds so disgusting. VIP, uh, whatever. VIP style looking car. After all, um, let's get some. Let's get some nice VIP wheels on the car. Also, VIP with 700 horsepower. You know, that's that's something strange. Something happened. I don't even know what. Oh my god. Uh, why is my what happened with the seat? What it fucking happened? I was just installing rims and. The game exploded. Maybe that's uh, it, it. Seems to be happening quite frequently, though. So I'm not too surprised that the car just kind of fucking exploded every uh, in every direction. But <coughs> let's see what the uh, damage is. I guess I'm hoping it's not too bad. Oh my! My rims just kind of went inside. Okay, well that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be too much damage. All right, so I've gone with the deep dish BBS LMs. They look sick as fuck on the car. Uh, although the, the the stance is a bit. Fucked. Also, I don't really like how exposed the lip is. That's not my style. I want something cleaner than that. But it is what it is. Oh my god! Fuck it. What happened here? What the? F ah, excuse me. Did I lose the quarter panel? It seems that I lost the fucking rear quarter panel. Well, how, how did that happen? That's just unfortunate. I guess not. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. Also, 3.4 grand for a fucking fuel or cap. Oh my god. Happy days, happy day. Ah, oh, kill me. So I've dialed in the uh, the fitment as much as I can, considering just how buggy it is. The numbers keep changing. Like I just want to get this car finished before they disappear again, before the fitment just gets fucked again. So let's go into paint, and I want something cool about it for this car, like something, yeah, a nice deep fucking red. Ooh. Very nice, very nice. We're not going to have some wild color scheme for this car. It's just kind of a red car, you know, it just looks very nice. Maybe a black wing. It's not black, it's for the ever so slight difference in the, the in the thing. Also, the rims. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or white. Mm. Oh my god, the caliper is sticking through the, the rear rim. That's, that's not nice. We don't have we don't have the clearance needed for these rims. That's not good at all. That is not good at all. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's just throw it. How is? How have I? How do I? How, do I continue? how is this happening? I am so on edge. All right. So if we ignore the broken rear uh, lip, not rip the the rip, the the problematic rear calipers. This car came out very nice. I mean, this is a very very clean SC300. I would have loved to have done uh, the 90s, like the tail lights, the silver on top, and the red uh, on the bottom, like the cool, the cool ass headlight uh, tail lights. But this car, this car is pretty cool, if you ask me. It looks very nice. So why don't we go and test it out? Let's see what we can do. Where's a better place to test the car out than Top Gear test track? Let's see the 1J uh, SC300 roll. Okay. Oh, it's very twitchy. Oh, rip. Oh, oh no, I dodged it. I dodged it. Oh my. What, what happened? What am I doing, dude? What is happening? What the fuck was that? Perpetual drifts. The car is still in in, in in drift. Also, it's in sixth gear. What is happening? Okay, maybe yeah. It appears that that part has uh, different f physics than what we what we are uh, accustomed to. Oh no no. It's like slow motion drifting, and it's only grips. Let's see how it does in a straight line. Very fast, very quick, very, very quick the car. Mm, very nice. And then flick it. Ooh. Yeah, it's really tail happy. Oh, spin wheels, spin wheels. Fourth gear, spinning wheels, nice. Ooh, very gripping all of a sudden. Nice, nice, nice. I mean, it's a nice car. I mean, it's more for the looks, even though it has 700 and, uh, what, 780 horsepower. That's still a solid amount of, uh, that's way too much, honestly. That's way too much for a car that I want, uh, unless it's a dedicated, like, just a high-power car. I don't even know, guys. Thank you for watching this episode, and I will see you in the next one.